B&B Italia represent contemporary values. With an ease to foresee and create trends, in their showroom we find a collection of pieces which are part of Italian design history. Lars Courage has created a house without dressing up its basic structure. Consequently, his choice creates an industrial look which produces an unforgettable house. The City and Hotel has opened its doors to a contemporary and universal style. A lot of care has been taken over the architecture and this is also mirrored in the interior. The project is built in just a uh, housing area as there are many 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 around the world and uh, what we intend to do is to show people that modern architecture can blend in very easily in a different form and a different uh, way of how it appears. When we designed the building, uh, we took a really close look at what was, how the surrounding was built. So we have all the ingredients in this building. Up, you can find it in, in this area. So from that point of view, the building blends in. There's one very open, transparent volume, our office, showing what we're doing, how we're making our living, and then private oriented is the box, the closed box behind it, uh, in the opposite direction of the street, where that's the private area. In my opinion, uh, good architecture is based on uh, as less as possible detail and materials in one project. In this case, we have, uh, besides that we choose steel as, let's say, the, the material for the outside facade, we have also chosen from just one color to, to emphasize the difference between transparent and closed. It's not just a black box. During daylight, light falls in those curves and plays with the blackness. Uh, during the evening, artificial light from the street lamps are playing it in a different way. Different kind of colors are, are coming, but the, the, the well in the, in the facade always plays with it. What is for us very important is that there's going to be a lot of daylight coming in uh, our house. But on the other hand, what we, in, what we would like to avoid is that the, in, the interior is over -lightened. So we intended to make a dark color, put a dark color to the inside. And yeah, the darkest color you can get is black. So we have black ceiling, black walls, and then a lot of glass. For us, what's very important is that um, everywhere where you're in this living area or the kitchen area, you have a connection to the outside. This kitchen area, um, in a more or less American way, we have put the stairs into the room. If you design or build a staircase, which is really nice, beautiful to see, show it. The floor plan has a concrete floor because we would like very much to have that loft idea, loft feeling. Uh, everything had a, a head to head a kind of industrial look. So we didn't cover up all the uh, uh, industrial uh, details, but just show them, bring them to the front and let people experience how beautiful it can be. The most big advantage of steel walls and steel ceiling is that you can work with magnets. So uh, hanging stuff to the walls, hanging lighting to the ceiling, everything is connected with magnets. You can really take them and remove them and put them a meter away or closer, wherever you would like them. If we have a lot of steel, cold materials, the furniture uh, which we uh, bought for the house, they uh, should give you the feeling as a, as a warm jacket. The house can be very modern, but inside you have to have a kind of warm atmosphere. That's why we choose for brown leather, uh, black leather uh, seats. 
and wood on the table. We use uh, article accessories uh, as space dividers, so uh, it's very easy and flexible to remove and to change in any direction you would like to live and to, to uh, work, and work within the space. We are really fond of, let's say, an open space where everything interacts with each other. Going upstairs, you're entering the, the really private area, uh, sleeping room, bedrooms, uh, bathing area. Entering each room, you are again uh, surprised by the amount of daylight. In our bedroom, we uh, the, the combination because we have an open area between the bathroom and the sleeping area, we intended to make a kind of wellness, a feeling of wellness. Very easy, relaxing, not much color, not much information. And the color scheme upstairs is really deep. So it's, it's very, it's nice, it's beautiful. Again, the connection between the bedroom, our bedroom and the bathroom is covered by four very big glass panels. So we have constantly the color from the outside. The outside view is so important that the entire bathroom is, a, is kind of uh, the, the color and the scheme is really reduced to very low uh, detailing level. But what's inside is beautiful detail. It's transparent. The second area is outside and it's. 90 degrees uh, across the house, and that's the office, the architecture office. The office has three sides of glass, uh, east, south, and west, so we have during the entire day beautiful daylight in, uh, coming indoors. So we are living in a transparent box, uh, which is surrounded by steel. The concept of the house is um, a building which has characteristics in industrial and flexible solutions. So that's very important for us. We are really fond of the end result. And uh, therefore it's, it's uh, strange to say, but it's uh, as easy and as complicated to design your own house as it is designing a house for a client.